Hey everybody, Prepper Nurse One here. It is still Wednesday, February 12th, 2020. So I actually got the date right this time. And the sun decided to go away, I gotta show you. Yeah, it's not, uh, it's not out anymore. <laughs> All right, so I decided to do a second video before my live stream tonight. Uh, my live stream obviously will be at 8 p.m. Eastern Time. So if you would like to join me for the live stream, that would be fantastic. I wanted to talk about, I think this is important to talk about before the live stream, and we're going to get into more things when the live stream comes out, okay? I wanted to talk about um, the government getting ready, the CDC getting ready. Um, there was recent talks, I don't know if you guys had seen, that they've taken 11 military bases uh, next near airports and have ready to turn them into quarantine centers. Uh, that's the latest thing that's been going on. So much money has been allocated uh, to get ready to fight the coronavirus. So the question would be, what do they know that we do not know, right? Uh, I've been getting a tremendous, tremendous amount of information coming into really, truly how bad things are in China. Um, and it's frightening, to be honest with you. And like I said, we're going to get into more of that um, in the live stream, you know, later on tonight. But uh, scary stuff, guys. Uh, I want to reiterate, and I've been saying this over and over and over again. Everybody that watches this video, anybody that's paying attention, anybody that's awake. Hold on, I see a, hold on, a smudge. Hold on one second, guys. I want to just make sure that this is not blurry. All right, that's better. Um... I want you to. I want to, re, to you know, really drive home this point. You need to be preparing to shelter in place. If you have not done so, if you've been watching my videos and listening to what I've been saying, and you haven't done it to this point, then I feel bad for you. I really, really do because it's like I don't say anything just to you know try to blow smoke up your behind. When I'm saying stuff to you guys. It's from the heart. It's because I want you to survive what's coming and to be able to, you know, live and live comfortably, okay? Uh, it's not, this is not a game. This is nothing with this is a game. Uh, as preppers, as off-gridders, you know, we prepare for every contingency. We always trying to get ready. Uh, the, the thought always was going to be that it would be, you know, like an EMP or a, uh, excuse me, or it would be, you know, like the grid going down or something to that effect or a financial collapse or, or World War III. Uh, you know, not a lot of people thought that the possibility of a pandemic could be the thing that triggers the world event, if you will. Um, I've always had that in the back of my mind, and if you've watched any of my videos, you'll see that that's one of the things that I always talked about. They always said, well, what do you think is going to happen? And that was always one of my top three, that it would be a pandemic just because of close quarters, the world travel that we have, and everything else. With the new information coming out that the quarantine period um, should not be 14 days, it should be 24 days because the incubation period of the virus is actually more towards 24 days. Um, that's scary information because, now think about it, you had all these people that just came back, they just released a plane load of them in California, all right, that had a 14-day incubation period, or I mean a quarantine period, but if the incubation period is 24 days and they left, let these people go ahead and go home and they showed no signs or symptoms, and then a week from now, all of a sudden now they're sick, who have they come in contact with then? Who, who has been infected, you know? Um, right now they were talking that there's 200 people in Georgia that they are monitoring, you know, that, they've, that are in quarantine. Um, you know, I think self-quarantine in their homes, but I think it's 200 people in Georgia right now. I'm telling you what, guys, this thing, from the information that I'm receiving, and obviously, um, and, he, and here, here's a great thing to think about. And I, I was watching a video today, and I thought that this was really, really telling. And he made a fantastic, tremendous point, actually. So he did over a five-day period of time in the numbers that were coming out of China. And every single day, for five days straight, the death toll went up 2.1%. 2.1% yesterday, 2.1% tomorrow, 2.1% today, uh, the day before that it was 2.1%. There's no way that people die at 2.1%. You know what the odds of a five-day period where that number is exactly the same every single day? 
So what does that tell you? It tells you those numbers are wrong. They're not giving you the true numbers. Um, you know, there's also there's a lot of information, a lot of information coming in. Really scary information that this thing is really running rampant through China um, and devastatingly so. And it's in every providence in or province in China now as well. So, you know, those numbers are going to go up. And guys, this is not just affecting old people and sick people, okay? I mean, that's what they're trying to portray, that that's who the, the people that are doing. But if you've seen some of the videos and some of the picture, there's a lot of children, a lot of young people um, that are dying from this as well. This is no joke. Um, I don't do fear porn. I won't do fear porn. But I really strongly, strongly advise people to prepare to shelter in place. Just because we just, there's, again, way too many unknowns. Is the incubation period 14 days? Is the incubation period 24 days? Um, again, I, I'm hearing that the information is coming out that it's 24 nowadays, not 14. That's, that's real scary. Real scary. Because, again, the entire time of the incubation period, you are also very, very, you know, you can spread. Um, hi, Max. You can spread that virus in that time because uh, time, you're very contagious as well. This is the coolest cat. Yes, Max is a cool boy. He's a good boy. So... But anyway, guys, um, again, I, I really, really strongly advise people to prepare to shelter in place. Uh, get food, get supplies, get whatever medical stuff that you need um, ahead of time. Again, with what's going on here, and if it is truly as bad as it is indicated that it is in China, and not the numbers that they're giving us. I mean, they've actually given... Now, here's the other thing now. They're not giving out all the cases... Um, of of the people now, their their criteria has changed of what they're reporting. So it looks like the number of sick people is going down when it is not. The, the number of sick people is not going down. It's continuing to go up. So, again, very scary stuff happening. Uh, stuff that we need to be paying attention to as well. Um, I did want to mention again really quickly that on my website we are still doing the sale on the freeze-dried foods. If you would like to take advantage of that, you go to PrepperNurse1.com, click on Store, it'll drop down and you'll see Legacy. You click on that and you can make your order there. 20% uh, off is what we're doing the sale for, okay? And that will be taken out at checkout. So whatever price you see on there, um, when you check out that, 20% would be coming off that. The only thing of the Legacy Foods that is not on sale is the sample packs, okay? That's the only thing not on sale. So everything else is on sale. If you are interested, uh, definitely take advantage of that. Being able to shelter in place and eat well while you're doing it is a really good thing. Uh, and if you're looking at, you know, a month, six weeks, two months where you would have to shelter in place, you'd be really glad that you had some some decent food um, to eat. And like I said, the Legacy Food has the largest portion size of any of the other makers. It's made in the United States. It comes out of Utah. So, real good company. And I wouldn't recommend them if I don't have it. I, like I said, I have it in stock myself. And I also am a big believer in the company. So, that is another thing that uh, is important to me as well. So, integrity is everything. Being honest is everything. So, um, I would not recommend something that I didn't believe in. So, that is why... I recommend that very much so to you guys, okay? So, of course, now my phone is ringing. And no, guys, it is not my mom. I will call him later. It's a buddy of mine. But, uh, so, yeah, but anyway, of course, it's going to keep ringing here until I hit this. Hold on a second. All right. <laughs> so, anyway, um... And just so you guys know, I did call my mom back that night. I was like, she was, uh, I was in the middle of making a video, and she had called and called and called. It was just, uh, I had spoken with her many, many times that day. So anybody thinking that I was just completely blowing my mom off, I was not blowing my mom off, okay? But uh, anyway, guys, again, I would definitely encourage you to prepare. Uh, get canned goods. Get things that you like. Get the comfort foods that you like. Uh, get, get, you know, enough water on hand make sure you have if you like juice if you like pop i don't care what you like whatever you like to drink get it up and get it up in abundance okay be ready 
there could be coming a day here very, very shortly. Uh, the United States is not doing what they're doing for no reason. So that's something to think about as well. The United States is not preparing the way that they are for no reason. You don't turn 11 uh, military bases into quarantine centers if there's not an imminent threat to what is coming here in the United States. Okay? So I want you guys to think about that. All right, guys. So anyway, please join me tonight, 8 o'clock Eastern Time. Um, we are going to be talking about everything that's going on and everything like that at that point. So please join me for that. Um, also, guys, remember we are all in this together. Also remember that to hug and kiss the ones you love, tell them every single day. Tomorrow is not guaranteed. We never know what's going to happen in life. Also remember, guys, STD. It's one step at a time, one thing at a time, and one day at a time. Whatever you're trying to do, whatever you're trying to accomplish, you can do it. The only one that's going to stop you from getting there is you. That's it. Nobody else can stop you. Okay? So I will talk to you all later. I hope everybody has a great night. Prepper Nurse One, out for now.